Now we go to one of the key races El Pasoans will see on the ballot, the race for district attorney for the 34th Judicial District. We have Good Morning El Paso's Isabella Martinez joining us live from a voting site with more details on that. Good morning. Good morning, Hillary. That's right. I'm here at YWCA in West El Paso, one of the 116 polling sites across El Paso that will be opening in just under an hour. Now, as you can see behind me, some of those election workers have started to show up this morning, getting ready to set up for that 7 a.m. start date. Now, this morning, we are highlighting the district attorney race where two candidates are vying to be the county's top prosecutor. Both candidates have strong opinions in one of the highest profile cases El Paso has ever seen, the Walmart shooting. Republican incumbent Bill Hicks, who was appointed by Governor Greg Abbott after former District Attorney Yvonne Rosales stepped down, has said he's ready to take the Walmart case to trial, allowing a jury to decide on the death penalty or life in prison. Opponent Democrat James Montoya, who is currently a deputy public defender, says the Walmart shooter deserves a death penalty. Montoya has stated that if elected, prioritizing this case would be his top focus. Now, both candidates are committed to seeking justice, but each has a different approach to how the case should proceed. ABC7 sat down with both candidates and has full in-depth and an extra perspective on key issues they would be tackling as district attorney. Of course, you can find this on our website at kvia.com and we'll continue to bring you live updates here from this polling site as well as key local elections that you'll be seeing on your ballot today. For now, I'm reporting live from West El Paso, Isabela Martinez, ABC7. Isabel